Hello guys, welcome to Afoam TV. My name is Afoam Hine. So, um, I just want to come your way with this very sharp and short video about how to calibrate a pH tester. So you see, once you are in the catfish business or once you are in the fish farming business, definitely you will need a pH meter. What a pH meter does is that it helps you to check the pH level of the water and the other parameters as and when you need to know because it's very important to know the pH of the water before you put in fish or even if there's fish in and then you see that there are changes in their behavior or how they are reacting or responding to feed and stuff like that it's very important to check the pH of that water so today we have here our pH meter and this is a very standard pH meter that you can get on the market um it's quite affordable too and so this is what we are going to um use as our ph meter so you have our ph meter here and you can see um it has an off and on button and then you have another button that's uh, the written cow and that's what you use to calibrate the ph meter this is the lid and it has um you know a tube inside there uh, with a bulb a small bulb that's used that's used for check the ph so um you can see we have our two bowls here in this bowl we have uh, this is what we call the ph buffer powder um this is mostly for the uh, alkalinity and 250 ml solution powder what that means is that you fetch 250 ml of water and then pour this powder inside so we'll pour our powder inside in a minute so this is for this and then you have another one here that also has um normally for acidity and so this also is a 250 ml solution powder so you put 250 uh, ml of water into this one so we'll pour our powder inside And then you stir it until the powder dissolves in the water to form a solution in this case we are just shaking the water gently for it to um, dissolve in it make sure you don't use your hand to stir it because your hands unless maybe you've washed your hands very well so that you don't introduce any other foreign material in there so we do same for this one too So after mixing your solution, you take your the lid of the pH meter. Make sure this lid is kept very safely so you don't lose it. Because if you lose it, uh, it might make the working of this pH meter a little problematic. So you put it on. This is the on button. So you put it on. You see it's on. Then you press the calibration button firmly and count up to 5 seconds whilst it is in the solution. So you press the calibration button whilst it's in the solution. So one, two, three, four, five. So you see that you have 6.86 as the reading. That means that the calibration is complete. So you can lift your pH meter up and clean it gently. Clean it gently with a clean um a napkin or towel or tissue paper or whatever that you have then you come you see the readings the readings will go back to 0, 0.00 so then you come to the other solution that you have you press the cow or the calibration button and then put it in for another five seconds but on this one after the five seconds then you press it again so it goes like this you press it in the water one two three four five so you see end then you leave it 
as soon as you leave it then you press it again so when you press it again you should get the readings 4.01 as the reading at that point then you can clean it and then your ph meter is well or duly calibrated okay, this is the simplest way of calibrating a ph meter um, like this when you buy it on the market before you can then use it anywhere you want to use it um, thanks for watching this video i hope this video was very helpful to anybody who needed to have this um, tutorial or this um, simple video to watch for the information that um, it was provided see you again on another interesting and educative video thanks for watching bye bye